Hey guys, Timo Redbeard here with another Tarkov video. This time we're talking about Shoreline, specifically Resort, and we're talking about keys and routes. Now this guide isn't for money running so much. This guide is more for playing Resort to its, resort to its fullest. That means going in geared, looking for fights, looking for loot, and coming out the other side with a bag full of other people's gear and a bunch of high tier Resort loot. So... If you like this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to caress that notification bell. I stream on Twitch Tuesday to Saturday starting at 12pm GMT. I would love to catch you there, links in the description below. But for now, let's get into this. Okay guys, so... This is the first part of a three-part series on Shoreline. There are going to be two more videos in this Shoreline mini-series that I'm doing. And uh, this video, like I said in the intro, is going to be focusing on keys and routes. And then there are going to be two more videos. One that's going to focus on getting to resort and um, spawns on Shoreline, etc. And things to watch out for. And the other one is going to be focused on callouts within the map and fighting uh, inside resort and uh, working as a team. But let's get straight into this one so this video um keys and roots um we're gonna have a look at the keys so this is this is the set of keys that i bring um and i'm gonna kind of quickly explain um each one and then we're gonna go ahead and do the east side route and then we're going to do the west side route. And what I mean by that is the route that i take if i spawn on the east side of the map or the route that i take if i spawn on the west side of the map so, you can get into East Wing down the end by going up the metal stairs along the roof and down, but 9 times out of 10, when you're coming to Resort, you're going to be coming in through this entrance here, which we call North Entrance, or you're going to be coming in this entrance here, which we call South Entrance, and either way is going to lead you to pretty much this point. And so what you do is, or, or my route anyway, is that I come down here, obviously making sure everything's clear, but we loot 110 here, this is the key with tape, and in here... There are Ledex spawns uh, inside the shower there. There's a Ledex spawn there. There's a Ledex spawn there. Um, obviously, right now, we've just got a Vaseline. But things to keep in note, there's loose med spawns here. Uh, PC here, of course. Rare item spawns there. Rare item spawns on the sofa there. Uh, this suitcase has actually dropped Bitcoins for me three times. Um, so make sure you check this suitcase when you're in here. And then also med spawns on this trolley right here. Then we move along, and we've got 107. 107 has some loose loot there, duffel bag, med bag, and a med box there. But the most thing, nine times out of ten, the thing you want to check for is right here. You can get a tech item spawn, like a Tetris, or a GPU, or a stick of RAM or something. And then these two shells also have med item spawns, and can spawn high tier med items. You can also get some loose loot right on that shelf right there as well. Uh, then we move down to the end stairs. Now, if you're first one to resort, and you think that more people might be coming up, this is a fantastic spot to be, to uh, try and ambush them. But anyway, we get up to second floor, and a uh, second floor, we've got 222 here, and 226 here. They are connected, you only need one of the keys. When you open it up, you come on in here, and you get a graphics card, and USB-A, but there are graphics cards, Tetris spawns on these tables here. Inside this box right here, there's Bitcoin spawns, rare item spawns, there's a grenade box there, there's a weapon box there. When you come in here, there's food item spawns here, you can sometimes get sugars and stuff, there's a weapon box there. And then here, you have rare med spawns. Ledexes can spawn on all three of these shelves right here. It's very rare, but you can technically get a triple Ledex. And then ophthalmoscopes and other med items can be found there. And also in here, and there's a shotgun spawn there as well. So we won't go to 205 just yet. We're going to go up to third floor first. And we will go into 328. Now, if you're feeling spicy and you're wanting to go for a red key card, then you're also going to go want, want to go to... There you go. 328 Tetris right there. There's a duffel bag there. And then there's loose loot here. And it can often be quite valuable. You get magazines and stuff. It wasn't what I was going to say, though. Is that if you are feeling spicy... And you're trying to get a red key card, one of those almighty red key cards. Then if you come in here, the way that I gauge it is that I look for this weapon crate. And when I see the door that's open to the right of the weapon crate, this is the way I just go straight in. 
right here is a red key card spawn. Now, of course, what I'm trying to teach you guys here is, is how to run resort as if you were going to be fighting it, as if you were going to be there geared. So I'm not just going to tell you to take a route that just goes from key card room to lead extra into key card room and then out. I'm going to show you the whole way. So after 328, we come along here. You can check marked. Mark's room is right here. Sometimes the pig spawns with a gold chain in his ear. And he can also spawn with some interesting loot on his body. But otherwise, we normally head right the way down. This is 316 right here. And 316 has a couple of weapon crates. And it has loose item spawns like optics, suppressors. On these two sections here. Obviously, the two weapon crates. And then we come through... And this is 314. And obviously this can be ac accessed via 313 as well. So there's a weapon crate there. There is various tool items there. Uh, there is a med spawn on top of these boxes right here. So make sure you check that. There's a weapon crate there and there's a med bag there. Then if you don't have 313 key and you have to come back out 314. You want to run through this room. Come out onto this balcony. There is a weapon crate there. And then you come out to this side. Then you have a weapon crate over there. But you have 310 right here. 310 is the next room that I open on my on my east route. And you have rare item spawns there. You have rare item spawns there. And you have two duffel bags. Then what I normally do is I run through here. I hit 306. And 306 has four PCs. Great if you're trying to farm uh, flashlights. Uh, sorry, not flashlights. Um, flash drives. And also there's a rare item spawn in there. There's a rare item spawn on the bed. And there's a weapon crate right there. The room that's linked via the balcony, I don't think is naturally all that worth going to. If you're struggling for loot and you're desperate to find something, then you might as well. But I don't normally check it. In here you have a dead scav. There's a chance of getting decent loot. And then I drop through this hole here. I run straight into this room here. And you have a weapon box here you have another dead scav body here and a duffel bag there and then i come back out of this room and i go to 205 which is the other key for second floor i come in here inside here there is a rare spawn inside this shelf there's also a duffel bag and a med case and then there are loose med items on these boxes here and then there are three weapon cases in this room now after this i will run um either across skybridge if i'm not hearing any noise i don't think there's anything dangerous when i do run across skybridge i often check for blue blue key card blue key card spawns on the seat right there um but if i don't go this way and this is entirely dependent on uh, how you're feeling what what the what the audio situation is like um i will come down here i'll check this table for sugar uh, you can find sugar on that table. And then I will run across the outside over to admin. And then over at admin. I'll come through the kitchen area. I will come down these stairs. And I will check right here. A Ledex spawns right here. Right here on the table you can get a Ledex spawn. And then I will run up here. Making sure to check your angles and the such. There are five PCs to check. And a weapon box here. And then... There's another PC in there. There's a red keycard spawn on the table there. There are various tool items that you can get on these shelves. There is a safe in here. Now, I don't bring this key. I don't bring this key. And the reason I don't bring this key is because of this. Too many times have I had friends um, go to unlock this safe and get sniped by someone camping up on top of this rock. I don't think it's worth it. I Safes don't often enough give anything decent. Uh, so I don't bring that key because I just ignore that safe. Uh, over on this side of admin, you have a duffel bag here. You have a weapon box there. There is a spawn on top of this box here. And then there's occasionally an ammo spawn on top of this table. And then there's another safe here. Again, I don't bring this key. And that's because I don't like losing this at this bit here. Too many people sit and camp out this back area and just wait for someone to come into that window. Um, safes can be worth it sometimes, but nine times out of ten, just end up getting you killed. When I move from admin across to West Wing, I don't take this bridge very often. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I'm not. I tend to run outside. I do apologize for the weather. 
Um, and I come in via this entrance right here, north entrance west. Very quickly check what we call wood storage um, for items on the shelf. Sometimes you can get Cordura um, and other like decently expensive items. Um, and now normally when I'm coming across from admin, um, I will run straight up to 301 first. However, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take west from the side as if I had just spawned on west side and as I was coming to enter it. So you would come in through here, right here. These shelves are great. As you can see, there's some Cordura, there's some Aramid. Those shelves can actually drop some pretty expensive loot, water filters and stuff. Now, when I come in here for the first time, I will immediately come to room 104. And just get my sword out for no reason. And in 104, you can get a blue key card spawn on the table right here. You can get rare med items on these shelves. And most of the time, normally, just normal med items. And then you run all the way down here. And you get to 112. 112 has a blue key card spawn on the table right here. It has food spawns here, which can spawn sugar. So it's always good to keep an eye out. And there's two duffel bags as well. Then from here, I head all the way straight up to third floor. And I always make sure I check this plant, this plant, and I open both of these doors. And you might ask why, <laughs> and I'll give you the answer. People hide in this plant, people hide in this plant, people hide in these rooms behind the door, wait to hear you put the key in the 301 door. 301 door's right here. As soon as you put the key in, they open the door and they kill you. They just go, so that's why I open those doors and I check those rooms and I also check the plants. It's because people camp this room a hell of a lot. It happens very often. Anyway, on top of these right here, you can get graphics cards, you can get lead X's, you can get all sorts of med loot and rare stuff. Also on the floor here, uh, as you can see, there is actually some sort of item, some nippers <laughs> uh, that have sort of appear under the, uh, under the carpet. Then inside here, you have med spawns on the bed here. You have med spawns here. I've actually found a lead X at this spot exactly twice now. And it's supposed to be quite a rare spot. As you can see, there's an ophthalmoscope there. There's a couple of PCs and there's a big weapon box there. And then once I've looted 301, what I will do is obviously using audio as a way to guide myself. But I will drop down through that hole onto second floor and then approach second floor from this side. The reason I prefer to approach second floor from this side is because there's a lot more opportunity for cover, for outplay, and for strength if you're fighting anyone else around here than, than approaching it from down that end. The first room that you want to loot is 216, right here. And inside 216, uh, you will find tech spawns on this cardboard box here. There are two weapon crates. There are two grenade boxes. There are food spawns here. There are med spawns here. There are ammo spawns on this box right here. And it's just an altogether good room to loot. Now, I skip 219, but I don't skip it entirely. I skip it straight away because I want to get down to 220, which is a far better loot room with rare med spawns here, such as surf kits, golden stars, vaselines, etc. And a weapon box there. Two more weapon boxes here, and also a rare item spawn on this box here. You can find lots of different rare items, including bitcoins on the regular. And then I will cut across to 221. Now, there are three keys for 221. You can get into 221 via 218, via 221, or via 222. All of those keys connect into one room or one section. As you can see, these are connected by balcony here and via balcony here. There is a weapon box in this room. There are med spawns on top of the boxes here. Inside this room, there's a red key card spawn on the barrel here. There is ammo spawns on this box and this box. There's, of course, two weapon containers. There are food and drink spawns here where you can get more sugars from. There's a weapon crate here. And there is also some loose money on the table. If you're looking for an RSAS for your uh, found and raid or for your RSAS quest for Gunsmith, then an RSAS can also spawn on these cardboard boxes right here, but it is very rare. I wouldn't advise checking the other room here. There's not normally anything in it. There's a med bag 
and a duffel, but outside of that, I've never found any decent loot in here ever, so I don't really check it myself. And after you've checked these three most important rooms, then you can go and check 219, which is the least loot of the, the second floor rooms, which is why I wait till last to loot it. But you can get med spawns on top of all three of these boxes. There is an armor spawn inside this cardboard box, so if you scan it and you see a little white dot, there might be some armor inside there. There is a weapon box, there is a container, and there's loose ammo spawns on top of here. Now, once I've done all the first floor, I've done 301, and I have done second floor. My next step is to run all the way down into the underground here. And down in the underground, you have the swimming pool, which you'll find you do a couple of quests at. Um, but most importantly, there is, of course, another red keycard spawn. This is the fat stairs that we came in at. There's a red keycard spawn on these blue shelves here. And also actually down here, you've got one, two, three duffel bags and two green weapon crates. Plus, if you go through all of these side rooms as well, there are duffel bags all over the place. Which would allow you, if you're looking for that duffel bag loot goodness, to get a bunch of loot. Anyway, that is pretty much my route guide for resort. Um, if you did come in from west side, then after I'd found red, I would head this way into admin and just do the reverse background. Go through admin, loot admin, go to north side of east, head to ground floor, and then loot from 110 and do the exact same route. Um, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, please let me know what you think. Um, I will be putting uh, the keys up on the screen uh, for each room as I unlock it so you guys know uh, exactly which key is what. Um, and uh, yeah, that is my shoreline key guide. Also, uh, just to add before we go, uh, there's a few extra bits in here. We've got Hep's key. That is for the power station. It's actually a very underrated room. There's three weapon boxes. There's a bunch of loose tech loot, which can fill your bag if you're needing it. Uh, cottage key, of course, opens the cottage. Um, safe key opens the safe inside cottage. And safe 321 opens the safe on third floor west, but I don't really loot it very often, so I didn't think to include it this time. Hope that's helped, guys. I've been Timo Redbeard, and I'll catch you guys next time.